蔡英文今年初以六百八十九万票当选台湾第一位女性总统。同时，今年进入立法院女性立委比例也高达百分之三十八。日前，美国乔治华盛顿大学举办台美关系研讨会，美国国务院副助卿唐伟康对于台湾女性参政的比例印象深刻。A record number of women to the legislature, which is now 38 percent women. So, as an American, we can only be envious of this figure.、Uh, that's the highest ratio in Asia, and nearly the double the figure for the United States. 我国外交部政务次长令狐荣达受邀出席研讨会。他在演讲中提到，台湾在妇女权利上以民主方式选出女性总统，而马英九总统任内积极推动妇女权益。With, with regard to the historical tragedy of the convoy women during World War II. 研讨会中，唐伟康赞扬台湾有能力引领各项倡议，美国将协助台湾有意义参与国际组织。他并指出，全球合作暨训练架构 （GCTF） 将在台北举行研习营，透过这样的机制，可以持续扩大台美的合作关系。May be challenging, but by working together, we have made significant progress in recent years. And I'm confident that through innovative mechanisms, such as the GCTF, we will continue to expand our cooperation into the future. 我国驻美代表沈履洵也表示，在美国协助下，台湾成为援助者，对台美以及区域都是三赢。